Okay, uh, a very common question that we're asked within this business is, are the propellers balanced? And the answer is yes, they are. Nine times out of 10 or 99 times out of 100, the propellers already come balanced. But just because you receive it balanced doesn't mean that it's gonna stay in balance. Because once you've used the propeller a few times, you'll notice scoring along the leading edge, pitting, and you'll find dead flies on it, everything like that. So what's important is that when you first get a propeller, you should certainly check the balance of a propeller, and then ongoing, you also need to check the balance of that propeller as well. And then equally important to complement this is that it's pointless balancing the propeller if you're not going to balance the spinner as well at the same time. So pointless having this in balance and this out of balance. The two need to complement each other and balance together. So what we're going to do over the next few minutes is just to show you how to check the balance on a propeller and also just to check the balance on the spinner. So let's start off with this one here. This is just a little um, World War I propeller that we've got. Now generally, the smaller the propeller, the slightly tougher it is to balance it. But let's put this one on the balancer and see where we get on. Now what is really important is to have a good quality balancer. There are lots of these out, out there. The one I particularly enjoy is this Robart one. It's an old one. This is about 15, 20 years old and it's given us great service in the store. It's very simple in its design, but it works very, very effectively. So all you do with the propeller is you take the shaft, you actually put it on, you then put the other spindle around it, and in this particular case, it has a spring to relocate it. You then have a washer to hold it down and a little piece of fuel tube. So all you do is push all those together, that's it, to make sure that it uh, fits, give it a quick spin, make sure that we're good, and then all we're going to do now is to set it on the balance of itself. Okay, let it settle down. Okay, so there it is. Now we've actually got the air conditioning on, so the air's moving around in here, but that propeller is very, very much almost 100%. But what you can do is, if you want that to be absolutely 100%, as I said, we'd have to take the air conditioning off. What I do for starters is I just use tape. That's all it is. Take off a, a really small bit of tape. We'll go for even a little smaller bit on this. And what you want to do is you want to put it on the lighter end. So you can see in this particular case, this blade here is the heavier blade and this is the lighter blade. So a little piece of paper, and we're just gonna put it on. We're gonna put it down again, and now, look at that. If anything, now it's gone, gone the other way. So you can see how the, the propeller balances. It's just very, very slightly out. But if you look at what we did, we put on probably half an inch of tape and that's now made it balance the other way and you can actually leave that tape on that tape is not going to go anywhere at all but the other technique that I use is I would actually sand the back of the heavier blade just to take material out of it so that's um, that's that, that's one tip well worth using um, and that's um, that's how to balance you know a small propeller blade like that but I would be more than happy with that as a, as a balance. But once again, if you remember what I said earlier on, when you've actually used this propeller, the front will become worn, some of the paint will have chipped off, um, you'll have flies and debris on it, and what you should do is to clean everything off, put it back on the balancer again, just to see where it positions this time. But in this particular case, I'm really happy with that particular propeller. But as I said, with the small ones, it's a little bit harder to make them balance, but this one balances perfectly. So let's just take this one apart, 
just show you very, very quickly. So this is a bigger propeller. It's a laminated propeller. Um, lots of weight in this. So we're just going to balance this one as well. Put it on the balancer. Let's see where we go with this. Okay, so there we go. Nice and tight. Just rotate it. Make sure that it's free. It is. So let's put this back on the balancer and see where this one is. There we go. I'd say that is pretty good. And as I said, this is balanced from the factory. So the only time you're really going to need to balance this one again is once you've flown it a bit. Okay, so let's pull that one off. Just a, another little tip here, as I said, if you have got a heavy or light blade, you can either sand the back of it, or what I also do is to keep a, a tin of lacquer spray, and what I will do is I will put lacquer on the back of the lighter blade, and once again, that will balance it up very, very quickly for you. So here we have our little spinner. I realise that this one, obviously, you know, size-wise is different, but just for this particular balancer that we've got here, I'm just using this as an example. So there's the spinner. All we're going to do is to put it through, again, exactly the same as we did with the propeller. Put this on. There we go. Put the washer on. Put this on. Okay. We're going to tighten everything up. So once again, make sure it spins freely. There's little resistance there. And we're going to get this on the balancer. Okay, so if you look at this now, let's just spin it around and see where it actually, uh, it actually sits. Now we just need to spread this out a little bit more. There we go. Right, let's see this. You can see it's spinning. So what I do now is, with a spinner, is I'll just put a little mark on the, on the back plate. And then what I will do now is I will spin it again and see where, where it sits. Okay, so that has actually sat with the original mark, it's actually gone down. So that's suggesting that that there is the heavier side. Now with a spinner, um, what I wouldn't recommend is putting tape on or anything like that. What you really need to do is that if you find a heavy side with a spinner is to get the good old trusty Dremel out. And what you want to do is to take some of the material away from the heavier side of the spinner. So all you'd do is you'd go in there, you'd just grind some material out, and then you'd put it back on and check it. Now, of course, the ultimate check when you've done that is to actually put the spinner on the propeller itself and check the whole assembly. Um, that we do have a rig that does that and we actually modify this to make it happen. But that once again is well worthwhile if you want to get 100% balance on the spinner and the propeller combination. So there you can see in a few simple seconds, a few simple minutes, um, showing you there how to balance a propeller and also how to balance a spinner.